Hello and welcome to another Formstack product demo. Today we have a quick one where we're going to show you how to use our Formstack Forms, Formstack Docs, and Formstack Sign product to quickly generate a form, a document that will be able to be sent out for electronic signature. So in this use case we just have a basic waiver form that a parent needs to sign for their child to be involved in an event. So on this form we just have the parent's name, the email address, the relationship, and then the child's name. When we go ahead and we submit this form, if I then go out into the email uh, that was just put into the form, so the parent's email address, we will see that there has been delivered a please review and sign and please sign the Fisher's Youth Soccer Waiver uh, to my email. When I click on it, it's gonna have uh, me go ahead and review and sign. When clicked, it'll take us into the Formstack Sign platform. Uh, I'm able to review, and we'll notice that it has uh, that I was the father. It's my name, my child's name, and I can scroll to the bottom. It has the date, as well as where I need to sign. So we'll go ahead and click, we'll hit apply. It's good to go, and then submit document. Now that that is submitted, we are good to go. Now, if I go back into my email address, I should have another one that pops up. Here we go, saying that the document is signed. So if I click into that email, I, as the parent who just filled out the form uh, and signed the document, now have a signed PDF copy of the waiver I just signed. Scroll to the bottom, make sure. There we go. It's ready to go. So now, let's take a look at how we set all of this up. So the big thing that we want to do is there's going to be a couple steps. One is we need to be able to make sure that we have created our form that we're going to be using. We want to make sure that we have created our document. And then we're going to blend those two together and decide where the document is going to be sent. So once we've created our form, we want to make sure we go into settings. And under settings, we want to head over to our integrations section over here on the left and we want to set up our Formstack documents integration. Once you've signed in with your API key and your credentials, you're able to scroll down, choose the document that you're going to be using, and you can start mapping fields. Now, where these fields come from is how you've set up your document. So let's go in and let's take a look. So I have my uh, waiver form for event registration I've created, and if I open it up, it's going to look a little like this. Now, remember with Formstack documents, you have the ability of uploading your own document, which is what I chose to do. I created this document in Word, and then I uploaded it into our platform. But you can also use one of our many templates that we have available to you, or you can create from scratch and just use our document builder. So we have our document, and the pieces that we're going to need here are uh, some different tags. So for me, when we looked at that uh, signed document, it had father, my name, as well as the child's name. So what you want to do is you want to create merge fields or merge tags. So I just called it, because it's simple for me to remember, a relationship, parent name, child name. And if we scroll down, the other component that we will need is our signature tags. So if we look right above where it says parent guardian signature, if I kind of highlight over here, we have our signature tag, which says it's a signature, it is required, and I am the first signer. But this could also be, if you had multiple signers, it could be a signature required signer two, signer three. And then I also have the date signed. Now, uh, pro tip here is to make sure that when you add your signature tags, is to go ahead and put them in white, uh, so that way it blends into the background. So that way when the signature gets placed on top, it doesn't have a, a muddy appearance. Uh, it's just going to have the actual signature, and it's good to go. So now, once we have our document set up with our merge tags and our signature tags, and then we go back into our actual uh, form, now we can do our mappings. We go into our mapping, and it's going to bring over those merge fields that we just created on our document. So it has a relationship, parent name, child name, and then I just go through and make sure that this matches up exactly with how my form fields are. So I have a relationship uh, field. I have parent's name, child's name, and email inside my form. So now once I have those all mapped together, we are good on the uh, document we've created. 
we're good on our form, which we've created, and we've now merged them together. So the final piece that we need to do is to make sure that we go in and we set how this is going to get delivered. So once the document is created, where is it going to go? What's it going to do? So let's go ahead and pop it back into our document manager, and we want to go over to our deliver tab. Once we're on the deliver tab, it's going to give us options to set up new deliveries for, di for today. Uh, we're using Formstack Sign, which we have conveniently placed at the top, but we have lots of different options on deliveries from uh, different CRMs or doc storage places, uh, even uh, direct mail. So I have two different ones set up. I know that I want to send out to our Formstack Sign because I need the digital signature, but I also would like that it goes back and stores into a, a secure digital storage place, which uh, we offer called Stash. So when I go in to my form stack sign, I'm going to be able to set up um, what I need the subject to be. I'm able to sign into my sign account. Uh, so once I'm signed in, I then need to choose where this needs to go. So with the signee, you have a couple options. You can actually use one of those merge tags that you've created on the document, or you could use other and name it whatever you choose. And the same for the email, where this is going. I've decided to use the email tag that's already on there. But if you have a specific email that you want to go and use, you can just type or tap the other here and type in the email address. By using the merge fields though, this allows you to have a dynamic feel uh, when you send this out to multiple people. It's gonna uh, have all their specific information. Now we also do have the ability of using uh, a phone number so you can send as SMS. And um, we do have documentation that shows exactly how to send out via SMS for those that it may be more convenient. Now, the final thing we also wanna do here since I do have an extra delivery, it is going out for e-signature, but I want to make sure that it gets delivered back to my secure digital storage place uh, stash that I'm using. Uh, I want to click on more options. And then when I scroll down, I do have this option here that says delay other deliveries until signing is complete. So if I click on there, I can then say send to stash. Uh, it'll create a folder for me. But now it's only going to send the signed document uh, once everybody's completed it, back into my digital storage. And this would be the same as if you had this going back to your CRM or any other delivery. Uh, you can have it set up that it will only be delivered after all signatures are on there. So once we're there, we hit Save Delivery. We are now set up. We now have our form created. We have our document created. We've uh, mapped those two together, and we know exactly where it's going.